So guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. In this video, we're going to be looking at original Xbox games on your Steam Deck. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. So guys, first thing you probably want to do is make sure you have MU Deck or this app XAEMU um, installed on your device. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description how to install MU Deck. If you just want to install this app, then it's pretty easy to do it as well. Um, so the first thing you probably need to do is go on to the desktop settings by going down to the power and then switching to desktop mode itself. And this is where we need to add the BIOS files as well. Without the BIOS files, then you will not be able to play this at all. So if you don't actually have the app, then you can go down to the software sort of center and download it. So you can see, this is the app that you would need to get original Xbox working on your Steam Deck. Just install this, uh, and then we need to add the BIOS files. Show you where to do that. So if you open up the file manager, so guys, what you want to do now is put your BIOS files uh, onto your Steam Deck. Now, the location is usually hidden, so what you need to do is go to Home, as you can see at the top corner here, and then go to the option up here, Show Hidden Files, just click it up, you need to use the cursor here, too intricate to use touchscreen, and then it'll unhide a lot of folders. Now, the folder that we need to put this into is called .var, which is right in the centre there, so so I double click that, just keep scrolling through it, um, just keep scrolling through, you can see app at the top, data, exmu, keep, just keep going, and this is the folder here. So you see it's home.var app app dot xemu dot xemu data xemu xemu and these are the files that you need the ee prom bin is already there that's usually included for you and um, there's the other one you need the complex 46271 bin mcpx uh, 1.0 bin um, and this file here which is quite important too xbox hdd qcow2 now they're all the files that you'll need to get and put into this folder otherwise your games and it just won't work basically. So once you've done that you will be good to go. You need to get yourself your games as well. Now you can put them anywhere. Um, I've got Emuadec so I've got them actually in the Emuadec Xbox folder but realistically you can put them anywhere as long as you point the app to the right place. So I'll show you where I've put my games. I've put them on my um, micro SD card uh, under emulation under Emuadec. This is where all the BIOS files here and um, for all the other stuff goes and all the ROMs go in here. Now realistically you could put them anywhere, it doesn't really matter but as this is uh, with Emudec, I'm going to put them in the Emudec folder uh, which is down the bottom here, I'll try and find the Xbox folder oh, yeah. so there's the Xbox folder at the bottom there, if you double click that and drop all your ROMs in here and there are all the games I'm going to go through in this video now I, I think you need to make sure you have the .xiso .iso files um, they're the ones that I found to be the most compatible. I did try a few .iso files and they didn't really work. I think the file size was just too large and they, they didn't load on the app. So it's definitely a word of warning if you try to find some ROMs. Just be careful the type you get or they will not actually work. Without further ado guys, let's get some of the gameplay started in the actual app. Let's go. So once you're finished with that, you can just close it guys. And just head back to gaming mode at the top here and we'll go back to the, the front end of the Steam Deck rather than desktop mode. Okay, back to your front end. Now you've got two options. If you've got Emudet, you can go through Emulation Station and play it that way. Doesn't really make a difference to be honest because it's still using the same app. But um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go through the app and show you what to do. So just click on that and then press play and then you'll be good to go and it should probably start with this sort of screen now it won't load a game automatically unless you've already started and um, if you've already sort of started playing a game it might jump into the last game you've actually saved so at the top left hand screen you can see that it's saying please insert a disc now you can just drag down from the top here um, and press machine now you've got lots of different options in here you've got these options here your input general um, display. Now I've changed the display to 1 uh, 2080 by 800 which is obviously what the Steam Deck is capable of doing. You can change the resolution at the top here. 
I would just leave it at default at one time because sometimes you put that up it does slow down a lot of the games um, you can see there you can change it to full screen, window size, blah blah blah, lots of different options here I didn't really mess with any of these options to be honest, um, I didn't really feel the need to do so um, but that's really all the stuff here and it tells you here, it automatically picks up all those sort of BIOS files and it tells you obviously the locations here um, if you're stuck, but yeah, you don't really need to mess about with this stuff too much what you really need to do now is open and load a disk, so this is where you can then uh, point it to the right direction, obviously it's now reading from um, the memory card now, it might not automatically find the memory card location that you've got this in so what to do is you need to sort of go to your other locations computer, then go to run it's a little bit tricky using the trackpad here. Then media, deck, no, sorry, it's not that deck, it's the other one. It's that funny looking thing there. And then emulation, ROMs, and then you can find your Xbox folder here. This is where the um, emu, or where my sort of memory card um, is located and that's it might be a little bit different for you but yeah that's where all the games are located so then you can load these files from here so what we'll do is we'll start with uh, Halo I think just, just choose the game and at the bottom just click open so it won't automatically start loading your game so what you actually need to do is go back to machine and then press reset and then it should start automatically playing the game you'll have to do that pretty much every time a little bit of a pain but as you can see, that's then kickstarts the game to load. Very good. Anyway, let's get playing some of these games. Okay, guys. So here we have Halo. Um, I've already started. Um, you see, I've got it full screen. You can just have it in windowed. It's really a personal choice. Um, now. When you do first start, some of the uh, original cutscenes at the start are a uh, little bit choppy. Loaded, Apart from that, it seems job. fine. It might have some slowdown here and there, um, but it seems uh, okay. All the buttons map pretty well. You can change that if you wish. Um, but yeah, it seems to be running really well. Oh. Such a great game. Obviously, you can download the um, sort of new version, which is on the Steam live uh, Steam sort of shop. But it's pretty cool, sort of checking out these uh, original games on the Xbox. There's a little bit of slowdown here and there, um, but it's not too major. It'll turn the sound down slightly. Such a top, top game, um, which I think blows away at the time. Well, it did me anyway. You can see, it seems to run okay. I'm not saying it's running at full speed, but it seems acceptable anyway. It's playable. The only issues I've seen were really small cutscenes here and there. We had some slowdown. Seems to be working pretty well. Okay, guys, to get back out your game, you really can uh, just go back up to the top machine, and then you can load another game or eject disk. It's really up to you what you want to do here. And um, what I'll do is eject disk. That sort of boots out. Then you can start a new game. Load disk. You basically, just go through the same process again. Now, not every game is playable on the machine. There is a website that tells you what what games are playable, not playable, won't start, for example. I'll leave that link in the description and I'll few, show you a few examples of some games not actually working very well at all. Well, let's try Call of Duty 3. And you need to reset the machine again. You see, occasionally you might get some stuttering on some of the cutscenes. Um, but by and large it seems pretty good. I don't think it's not really the Steam Deck uh, issue, it's the emulation itself that's probably the issue. Let's jump back into the game I was playing. Oh, 
This game's running really well. I um, actually cannot remember playing this, and I definitely did. It's bizarre. Oh. Yeah, let's do the Rambo style. Let's just run and kill everything. <laughs> Mayhem. Whoa. So much going on. It's just like a training uh, level to be honest. It's kind of set on easy level so. <laughs> oh, gonna die here aren't I? Whoa. Um, that was always going to happen playing like that. Okay, guys, having a look at Max Payne. Um, this is a favourite of mine, me back on the PlayStation 2 Xbox era, which was kind of good fun. Memorable for the obvious the bullet time uh, nonsense that was going on. Really cool game. Okay, apologies for some of this violence. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. So this is near the start of the game. It's sort of going through the stuff here. I'm not sure what's going on. The footstep sounds are annoying. He and Mickey are having too much fun. No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> that bullet time is something else, isn't it? You see, it actually runs really well. Don't have any issues. Now that's not going to be like that for every game. So the next couple of games I'm going to show you some games that aren't really working so well at all. Oh. <laughs> Pretty cool. <huh? laughs> uh, that'll never cease to amaze how cool that is to be honest. But yeah. That's Max Payne. If you've never played it, have a bash. It's kind of funny. I need to sort of change the inverted look. I hate that. Oh. Well, I'm going back the way, aren't I? Oh, am I? Just getting lost. Watch this. <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny. Anyway, guys, let's try another game. I'm going to have a look at some games that actually don't play too well at all. Surprisingly, even though the website says they do, I can actually get them to work for some reason. Okay guys, so this is Project Gotham Racing 2. Oh, I absolutely love this game, but it doesn't really work. It's got major, major slowdown. Now, it all seems okay. You can get to the start screen okay. Everyone seems fine, but there's some parts that start like crazy. Um, let's just start playing. Yeah, you get to certain parts like this, it starts to stutter like crazy. Um, and does, you can see it's just struggling to get past it, so I just need to keep pressing the button to get past it. And then it's okay. But yeah, starting a race, this is where things go really bad, unfortunately. Such a shame. The website that I'm leaving in the description actually says it's playable, um, but it, for me it's completely unplayable. Um, it's completely... It's too slow. Once the game starts, you'll see what I mean. See, it's now crashed. That has crashed a few times like that. Um, other times I've been able to play a race, but it just goes uh, along at a really sluggish pace, and that's it. So basically, look at that. It basically just crashed. Such a shame. I don't think there's many games that are like that, but you will come across a few, unfortunately, uh, like that. And it's not really the Steam Deck's issue, it's really the emulation itself. So guys, another game that doesn't uh, seem to work is the Splinter Cell series. I couldn't really get this uh, game, Chaos Theory, to work. The original game doesn't, apparently is not compatible, or won't actually start. Uh, this game was supposed to work, Chaos Theory, but I couldn't get it to load at all. Um, there's some issues with the, the start screen. You can sort of get past the, the loading screen here, it's fine. But I can't actually get the game to start. 
It was such a shame because Splinter Cell uh, games were absolutely amazing. Really enjoyed them. Certainly remind me very much of the Xbox days. So this is literally the main menu screen and there's no options here to choose. You can't sort of get past that screen unfortunately, it just kicks into the cutscene and you can't do a thing about it, which is a shame. Okay guys, now having a look at Crimson Skies, which uh, was a favourite of mine back on the Xbox days. And I really enjoyed playing this and it plays really well on the deck, which is great. I'm pretty sure this has been released on, you can probably play this on the current Xbox, which is uh, available through the backwards compatible um, way, which is quite cool. Yeah, let's try and get started into the actual game. You can see the game looks really nice. Controls fantastic and there's no huge issues at this particular type in the game. Take down the balloons. Wow. Yep, they are. It's working. Okay, another game we're trying is Morrowind, obviously part of the Elder Scrolls series. Not really sure this is my favourite part of Elder Scrolls. I really quite enjoyed Oblivion and obviously Skyrim. But this is definitely worth a look um, if you missed it back in the day. I did have this game, never got into it, I'm just not really sure what I was supposed to be doing. Still, very nice game. Maybe one to get stuck into on the Steam Deck. Your name. Oh, what's my name? does look a little bit rough here and there, but it plays, um, that's basically what the game used to look like. If you're a big fan of sort of Skyrim then it's definitely worth having a little look. Never really knew what the point of the game unfortunately was, what the story was, never really got into it at all. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Okay, whatever. Yeah, loading times are pretty quick. This is where they want you. you can see there's some graphical issues there, you can see. <laughs> That's a bit strange. Um, I wasn't there last time I played, funny enough, but you can see that it's obviously appeared this time. You finally arrived. Yep. Oh, does it really matter? Yeah, let's go the Nord. Anyway guys, that's uh, our look at Xbox emulation on the Steam Deck. You can see it, it's a bit hit and miss. A lot of games play really well, some games won't play at all. Um, it's not really a Steam Deck problem, but um, rather than the actual emulator itself that it's running. But um, it's really good. Um, I really quite enjoy looking back at some of these games that I played back in the day. Okay guys, if there's any other emulators you want me to look at, let me know in the comments um, and I'll maybe have a look, see what we can do. I really enjoy this Steam Deck, it's absolutely fantastic. For emulation, it's really, really impressive. Um, and I'm really looking forward to looking at more stuff as we go through the next few weeks. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.